man. It's been years and finally we see I see the one and only the boss of the race, Julius Malema. How are you, uncle? Very well, and you? I'm great, so you're, great you're to talk to you. You're in real terms now. Um, I've been chasing you for a ah. decade. Well done, you've done very well. Very well since we last Thank spoke. You. i got to know, if the, the e, if the EFF wins, will puppets get land? I'm no, asking on behalf we, of Jacob Zuma. We, we were fighting against the puppets. We no, want, don't hate no, puppets. No, no, no. We want, oh, we man. want real human beings to you gather say that. land and own it. Okay, uh, not okay. Not puppets of other people. Land and jobs now. Yeah, yeah. Land and jobs yes. now. Yeah, but you've yeah. been saying that for 10 years. So you your land and jobs now, now. Well, uh, Just now. It soon, soon. It must be now. You can't well, you say that, it. but it's now's now. But it just keeps being, okay, here's the next one. You went on diet and you look hot. Oh. I'm not going to lie. You're turning me on. Uh, my juju uh. is strong. Was it a revolutionary diet? Well, uh, it's a lifestyle. Exactly. Uh, a person has to look after himself. A person has to look his age. And Madiba said to me, if you want to lead this nation, you can't do it with a tummy looking like this. A man, like, listen to that, Quede. Listen. Yeah, yeah Quede must hear Zach. that. Yeah, <laughs> listen. A revolutionary diet. You know what a revolutionary diet is? No white bread, no white rice, no white uh, sugar, everything white is <laughs> full. Ponzi, carbs, Ponzi. Listen, oh, yeah. you, uh, Uncle, you are definitely getting a little bit older since you started this. Yes. Has anyone called you the Uncle in Chief yet? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm growing young. You, you can, can be see. Ponzi, gout, Ponzi. Uh, 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 it's a whole new market for I'm you. I'm growing young. Young. I'm not growing old. Look at me now and look no, at me not. 10 years ago. My goodness, the Viagra is strong in this one. Listen, I've got one last question, yeah, man. Yeah. Are you aware that you're a religious leader now? No, I'm not. You are. You're basically a religion. I'm not. You are. You I'm are. Not. You are Jesus. Like people then, are listening then, going door to door. Have you let Julius into your life like the Jehovah's Witnesses? <laughs> Find the power of Julius. <laughs> I'm not a religious leader, I'm a revolutionary leader. Amanda, listen, is the EFF going to win in these elections? Absolutely. We're taking oh over God, the South Africa and take Western oh, Cape goodness. and make sure that Western Cape becomes a oh. liberated zone for our people. Uncle, I swear <laughs> Black Coffee will change his name to Flat White. Uh, <laughs> you went into a coalition. You say you hate the DA so yeah. much, but you went into a coalition with them. I mean, what the hell is that? I've That's never, like a vegetarian I've never, I've in KFC. Never, I've, never, I've never been in a coalition with DA. Even now, in Ikurlin, I'm not in a coalition oh goodness, with the ANC. I don't know what drugs uh, you're we taking, are, my goodness. We are it's in an arrangement. You know what the coalition is. No, you sign the, You sign the agreement. No, I'm a puppet. You also no idea. agree on certain things that this one is going to do this. Oh There's no goodness, such a, a thing between us oh my and goodness, the DA. The semantics At of any God. time, of God. we can walk of away God, and God. do our own thing. Your voice is getting deeper and deeper. I have to know. Ah. Is Gwede <laughs> Mantashi your dad? No, no, no. He talks like his brother. I've, I've been speaking a lot, so the voice is disappearing. Let's share the land. Let's share the economy. Let's share the wealth of the country. But you've got one family uh, where a person owns 20,000 hectares of land and he has been using only one hectare of land. And we're just saying, but can't you give the remaining portions to other people? We're not saying you must lose what you're already using. Continue to use it. But that which you are not using, let's share it. So white people who, are, who don't have problem in sharing the wealth of the country in having the same equal status with the rest of South Africans are not threatened by the EFF. The EFF is for everyone. And then a last question, why should the people of George vote for the EFF? The people of George must vote for the EFF so that we can bring a dignified government into the Western Cape. Look at what disaster happened under what they voted for, uh, which is now in Kaouz with uh, developers and contractors who risk the lives of our people and they risk the life of our workers. So they need to know that the EFF government is going to be a transparent government, is going to be a government that is going to fight crime, is going to be a government that is going to ensure that economic opportunities of George benefit primarily the citizens of George, irrespective of their color. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your views on that, because the names were not coming out in the beginning, but eventually uh, we heard who the names are. And of course, it seems as though the ones that are solely responsible or the owners of the building, rather, um, they seem to have just disappeared. Well, that's what I'm saying. We need to hold them accountable because that is irresponsible. Once a building collapses and it belongs to you, 
you have a duty to show courtesy to those who died in that building and to their families. Uh, amongst other things, to even take interviews to show that you take responsibility. But if you knew from the beginning that you engaged in dodgy things, you'll disappear, you'll run away. So that disappearance is a confirmation that there is something deeper which might involve the municipality uh, where the plans were approved without thorough scrutiny from the technical services of the municipality. So we want uh, these people exposed. It is only fair that as a contractor and the owner of the building, once such a thing happens, you come out because you have nothing to hide. A building can bend down now. I can't disappear. Uh, the EFF head office bends down and then I disappear. I have to go and want to understand from the side as to what really happened and then show empathy and be uh, with the family. So you know the, the drawings uh, were not proper and the material used was not sufficient to carry such a building, especially with such a, a, a roof structure. It was a concrete uh, roof structure which means the foundation was supposed to be extremely solid and enough still used to reinforce, uh, you know, the basement. But by the look of things, uh, after the rescue team is done now, there's nothing that suggests that there was thorough reinforcement in the basement so that it can carry such a concrete slab uh, as a roof. And you've got so many floors going up and uh, there is no anything from a layman's perspective at least when you look at it you don't see that there was much effort taken uh, in reinforcing the basement because remember the basement has a duty to carry uh, the whole building and uh, if you don't get it right it's like a foundation the house will not stand the test of time so we are really really are interested and I'm happy part of the investigation it involves the police Police must be able to say this is the wrongdoing which was done. Uh, they might run now, uh, but they won't survive. The law will catch up with them, uh, especially the contractor and the owner, because you can see they were colluding. Why is the contractor disappearing and the owner disappearing? Because those are two different people. I might have hired a contractor who did not follow uh, what the engineer said you must follow. So I've got nothing to hide. Or I'm a contractor who was coerced into doing wrong things by the owner uh, who said we must cut corners because it's more expensive uh, to do what they are trying to do. So um, uh, we are interested in the contractor, we are interested uh, in the owner intervened decisively and uh, went beyond uh, the call of duty in ensuring that they, they discover as many people as possible and uh, we are happy that they've done a very good job. We are awaiting the outcome of the investigation, uh, particularly on the approvals of building plans and whether building plans, because even before the construction takes place, the building plans must explain how and what type of uh, uh, equipment is going to be used to carry such a big building. And uh, you've got uh, some technical departments in the municipality which goes into detail. They can even return the building plans and say, but here you don't tell us how you're going to secure uh, this building. So I, I'm more interested in that uh, because uh, it's important that the people who are responsible for approval of construction especially uh, of uh, big buildings. They don't cut uh, corners. They do a thorough job because we all live in uh, high-rise buildings now. We all work in the high-rise buildings now. So this creates a lot of panic amongst our people as to to what extent are we safe? Have this plant really been thoroughly uh, inspected? And then the second one should be that we need to hold the the developer uh, responsible because um, there are so many undocumented uh, people who are here and um, from some from Mozambique, some from Malawi, Zimbabwe and so on and so forth and so on. 
So we need to understand what was the rationality behind employing people who don't have documents because it then fits into our own uh, perception that they get hired so that they can be exploited and they've got no rights. Uh, and when they try to protest, the uh, police are called upon. And you know, undocumented people, when this, once they see a police van, they run away. Uh, and that's how they lose their uh, you know, money and then that's how they get exploited. But um, we, we, we should be more concerned about that and not more about politicizing the whole thing because it's, it's very scary if a building can collapse in George. Uh, can you imagine what's going to happen in Collins Chabani in uh, Malamune? It will be worse if George itself uh, can be able to foresee certain things through the plans. Mm -hmm.